will eat a slice. I can't see very well. All right. Really? That's it, guys? Okay. Well, Hannah and I didn't bring that much cash with us, um, but we are here to talk with you about pizza and pie. Um, but why us? Why are we qualified to talk about pizza and pie? So I'm Hannah. This is Ellie. And and we're going to take you back to 2007 when we met at University of Illinois and we met at a pizza party and since then we've been making and sharing pizza together and we went on our first apple picking spree where we also made our first pies and so since then we've been making pizza and pie for seven years and we eat one or the other once a week every week. So how do you define pizza and pie? Because those can be some really big categories. And this is something that we've been discussing in depth with our friends for a while. So pie, we decided, is a baked good that has a crust and toppings. And it has to be baked as a full unit. The crust has to have the intention of rising. And it has to have the intention of crispiness without charring. Very crucial. Um, and then pizza is actually a subset of pie. It is a pie with cheese and and or a sauce layer. And you can see from this diagram, we're serious about this. Uh, we see pizza and pie is integrally connected. And uh, we want to call out, there are some things that people will call pizza or pie, but we really view those as pizza cousins. That includes the pizza bagel and like a cookie pie. You know, similar, but they're really cousins. Yeah. So a bit about a history of these foods. Pies are ancient. They've been around since 9500 BC, ancient Egypt. They were Originally, the, the pie shell was a vessel to bake the ingredients inside, and they were primarily savory. So they have since evolved to become more sweet, and the crust has become edible. Now, pizza, a little bit newer, around 997 AD, central and southern Italy. And interestingly, it was a poor man's food, primarily sweet, and has since evolved to be more of a what we know is pizza, although there's so many varieties of pizza that we're all familiar with across the country. Um, so a bit about history, our history with this food. We have been making and eating pizza with our friends for years, so it's a very special tradition for us. And we even have, in college, we had Pizza Thursday, which we would, we were committed to eating pizza every Thursday. And we would, if we ever baked a pie, we would update our Facebook statuses and people would flock over and eat the pie we made. Um, um, but more generally, we really have a philosophy that pizza and pie are a communal food, a food to be shared with your friends. There's never a pizza or pie that can't be eaten with a story to share with it. And uh, like it's, it's just something we'd never eat alone. Even Ellen on the Oscars ordered a pizza for the stars, so that says something. So while they're communal foods, we think that making pizza and pie can be a really personal process. So here you can see um, this is a pizza crust. So up in the top left corner, you see the yeast is activating. That's what helps the dough rise. You have to knead it with your hands. I mean, there's like a physical effort there. The dough has to rise, and then you have to roll it out. And you get to make all the decisions about what goes in there. And then for the toppings, um, it's interesting because it can then become, again, communal. Like what do people want on their pizza? Are they looking for the perfect ratio of flavors? Are they going for an abundance of vegetables? Are they thinking about what's in season? Um, but no matter what you do, they all end up being really delicious. So these are some pizzas that we made. Um, and then pie crust is really similar to pizza in some ways and different in others. So you use butter instead of yeast to help it rise um, and get that little puff. Um, you similarly have to knead it. Interestingly, pie and pizza dough both need to sit so that the dough has the right elastic that means like when you roll it out, it's going to hold its shape better. Um, and there's so much variety and, and personality that goes into the crust. So like you can see here, we went with this really fun like crimped crust. Um, are you going to have a lattice top? That's when it like crisscrosses like this or a crumble top. And then again, pie can become back like to this communal thought. And there's a lot of choices that go into the filling. So are you going for a savory or a sweet filling? Are you going for the mix of colors? Are you celebrating, again, what's in season? So there's a really wide variety, and that's something that we really enjoy about the process of making pie. So we recently had a huge pizza dinner. Woo! We invited all our favorite people, and 
in a moment, you're going to see the 18 pizza crusts that were eventually rolled into pizza pies. So such an event requires a huge amount of planning and preparation. There's having the right ingredients on hand and rolling out the pizza dough and making the sauce and chopping the vegetables. And there's something really special about all the love that is put into this process. And aside from just enjoying the process itself, we see it as a gift to our friends. The process is our way to give love and nurture nurturing feelings to our friends and also we love the fact that pizza and pie is like a canvas for our favorite fruits and vegetables these peaches are from ellie's backyard and these onions are from the farmer's market the the pizza and pie they allow us to connect to our love of the farmer's markets our love of what's in season summer is the time of beautiful deep purple plum berries and purple pie for me is what i think of in summertime the peaches also apples and fall and it's it's just the mark of the seasons for us so we had this really epic pizza and pie dinner because along with really this as an exercise for us to think about the importance of pizza and pie we really wanted to bring in this experiential component um, and we you know we share pizza and pie all the time but through this specific uh, meal we were able to share our favorite foods with some of our favorite people so shout outs to all the people in this photo who are here tonight um, and it was an evening not just you know Hannah talked about the preparation and the eating but also of sharing a lot of stories um, and so it just really brought together all the different aspects that we've talked about that we enjoy about pizza and pie. So we could go on literally forever about pizza and pie. We could go on and on. But we've learned through the past seven years that pizza and pie, they're not just delicious food stuffs, but they are a means to bring people together. And Ellie and I met over pizza. We solidified our friendship over pie. And we've been making pizza and pie ever since. And it just got more and more delicious with each one. <laughs>